Hey guys, and welcome back to more Pokemon Fire Road with Full Boy V5. In the last part, we um, got through this route here, which is Route 24 and Route 25. I'm just going to move my mic here a bit because I think it's a bit loud. Oh well, if it, if it is, I can just remove, uh, blah, blah, configure it manually. Right, okay. Um, anyway, we did that in the last part, and we also got up to Misty, which I said I'll leave till this time. Um, now, before we do that, I did a hell of a lot of off screen training, and I actually got. An Abra and raise it to level 15. I raised my Spiro Magikarp Mankey to level 19, and uh, Charmeleon got up to level 22. Yeah, it was a lot of off-screen training, trust me. Anyway, though, the reason why I'm here is because um, I wanted to show the evolutions on screen. Abra is just about to evolve into its next evolved form, which is Kadabra, after I've just defeated a wild Pokemon here. And Magikarp is the same, with evolving into Gyarados after after defeated a wild Pokemon here. And if you compare the amount of experience points that it takes for Magikarp to get to level 19 compared to every other Pokemon that I've got so far. Look, they haven't even got as many XP points as Magikarp and Charmeleon's like three levels higher than it. That just proves how hard it is to raise. Anyway though, I shall see you in a minute for Kadabra, I mean Abra's uh, evolution. And here we are, Abra's going to evolve. For the love of God Ben, do not accidentally press the B button, I'm going to put it down right there. Here we have Kadabra, whose sprite looks like he has red pubic hair and a bell end. But anyway, we have Kadabra now. And it also learns confusion, which is great because that's a pretty really good move a pretty a really good move for a psychic type this early in the game. Anyway though, I'll just explain Kadabra brief, uh, briefly. This thing is a monster once it gets to um, its final evolution. In fact, it's probably a very good Pokemon now. Um, its special attack is very, is ridiculously high. Um, it can get, it, once it's maxed out in EVs, if you want to play it competitively, it is a great Pokemon to have. It's also really fast, um, has decent special defense. Its attack is terrible though, and its defense is also not too great. Um, its HP is average, I think. I think it's just below average, maybe. Um, but yeah, great Pokemon to have. As you can see, its special attack is very high compared to my other Pokemon at the moment, who are all loads of levels um, uh, above it. We have a 49 for Gadabra, 20 for Spiro, 11 for Magikarp, 18 for Mankey, and 45 for Charmeleon. And that's like double the levels it is at the moment. No, not double, I mean six levels higher than it is at the moment. So yeah, very good Pokemon to have. It won't do much in the gym we're about to go to, I don't think, because really it's it's still not um, able to put up a massively good fight against Mrs. Pokemon. Um, but uh, next up is Magikarp's evolution, so I shall see you in a minute when that happens. And here we are, the epic moment! And finally, we have Gyarados, who is thinking, I'm going to rape you bitches. But anyway, we have Gyarados here. And it learnt bite. That's pr pretty good for the gym we're going to. But anyway, uh, there we have Gyarados. Gyarados is a very good Pokemon. Um, a tad, not, I, don't say, I wouldn't say it's overrated. I'd say it's overrated by uh, first gen uh, fanboys, but not really by the competitive play, because... Um, it has a weird typing, which it wasn't actually meant to be flying type, it was meant to be uh, a dragon type. Um, but since um, the only first gen dra dragon move was Dragon Rage, sorry I got interrupted there, uh, but since the only first gen move was Dragon Rage, they decided to change it to flying type, which makes me wonder why they had dragon types like Dragonite and that, but anyway though, it's um it's also kind of hindered here but because water is a uh, special move. What water type is special in third gen, which makes it so Gyarados doesn't get as doesn't get its uh, priority attack across that well. Um, but it does with other types, so a great Pokemon to have. Unfortunately, they don't have many good moves at the moment, but that'll change, I hope. Anyway, I'm going to come back to the Pokemon Center here, so heal my Pokemon. Okay, I'm back in the gym, and here's Misty. Okay, so let's see. Um, who do I want to lead off with? I think I'll just lead off with Kadabra to see what he can do. I doubt it's going to be much, but you know. I'm going to try and get everyone to get a bit of screen time in this fight. So anyway, with that... Hi, you're a new face. Only those trainers who have a policy about Pokemon can turn pro. 
What is your approach when you catch and train Pokemon? My policy in all, is an all-out offense with Water-type Pokemon. So here is Misty. I hope you like the updated bios there. I'm going to try and put in movesets a bit more if I can fit them in. But anyway, here we have Staryu. Um, so, uh, Staryu is not a water and psychic type, uh, despite its um, ev evolved form, which I probably oh, spoiled for you now, but oh well. So, we, uh, it won't be resistant against confusion, and as you can see, Kadabra is faster. And it's done that much, and it's two levels below it. God. And I am fully aware that you do need to trade Kadabra to get its final evolved form, which I will be doing around level 40, because that's when it learns its last decent move. Uh, so don't worry, I completely know that, it will evolve into Alkazam. But anyway, here we have Starmie. Now this one is going to be the one you're going to want to watch out for. Now, Spiro is not going to stand a, fit, a chance against this thing, I just know it. So I'm just going to try Spiro here, just for the fun of it. Right, so, uh, the only real move we can really do is um, Thief and Pet, because Pursuit and... Actually no, Pursuit will do quite a bit, I think. Maybe, I'm not sure. Uh, but it, um, Spiro learnt Pursuit off screen. I think I'm going to go for Pursuit here, even though Pursuit is a move that like, um, if, you if your opponent tries to withdraw their Pokemon, you can use Pursuit before they withdraw it. So Anyway though, as you can see there, Spiro didn't stand a chance. Uh, let's throw Kadabra out again, just see how much it can do. Not very much I'm guessing, but still. And yeah, that, that's kind of, that's to be expected, so. Uh, let's go with Mankey here. Mankey should be able to do some damage, I'm, I'm thinking. We should use Mega Punch here because uh, fighting type moves won't do cack all. And of course, it gets a critical hit. I'm not too worried because, like I said, I have Gyarados here, so that shouldn't be too bad. And it does have Bite, so that's going to be a very good move. Even though that move is special as well. But, um. Yes. Yeah, Bite is special in this game. In fact, a better move would be Shadow Ball for Gyarados, but I don't think it has it. I, I mean, don't think it can learn it. Anyway, though, as you see, Gyarados has some pretty gnarly defense there. Gnarly, man, and it's confused. Great. Gyarados is not very good at handling confusion. I know that's just uh, bollocks, but it's been in my experience. But anyway, though, uh, well, I think I've got a super potion, so I should be okay. Come on, come on, Gyarados, you can do it. Oh, damn it! Come on, Gyarados. But I think Gyarados has got such a high attack stat as well. Uh, let's see, do I have a Confusion Heal or something? Confusion Heal, there's no such thing, Ben. Um, come on, Berry Pouch, give me something. You won't give me anything. Okay, I'll choose the Nora Berry, I guess. Even though that hasn't healed that much at all. Right, I should be okay for a few more turns, so I'm just going to keep using Bite here. Hopefully, Gyarados will snap out his Confusion. Oh, come on. Gyarados, for the love of God. Thank you. Right, okay, that did moderately good damage. As long as you don't get confused again. Yes, thank God. Right, okay. Right. This will possibly put him into red HP, and then Missy, I'm guessing, will use a, a super potion or something. Because don't think Water Pulse will take Gyarados out this time. No, it won't. Right, good. Oh no, are you kidding me? Right, come on Gyarados. Come on! Right, nice one. Oh, are you kidding me? That is so close. Right, she's tackled up bite again. Oh, damn it, come on. Come on! Come on Gyarados, come on, you know you want to do it. Right, thank God. I love you Gyarados, already. I just love you. Right, okay, so um, Gyarados has been gotten rid of. Now, I can hopefully, hopefully take out Chameleon, because I do believe Chameleon is faster. Now, what we're going to do here is use Mega Kick, and hopefully it will hit, because Mega Kick's a pretty powerful move against Starmie. Um, mainly because it's a, got a good, um, Chameleon's got a decent uh, attack stat, and Mega Kick's also a pretty powerful move. You've got to pray that it hits. Right. No critical. I'm, I'm begging you. Right. Thank God. No! Are you kidding me? Oh god, if what Pulse is going to hit again, I've lost on that. Yep, okay. There you go, my first gym leader lost on screen. Woohoo! 
Okay, so I managed to get up to star me again with no damage to any of my Pokemon whatsoever. And Kadabra is actually going up a level, and I reckon Star is going to take him out, but we can at least try and uh, hopefully get it confused because I'll tell you what, it's that bloody water pulse that's doing me over because it's damn confusion. Oh well, Kadabra, you did your best. You can actually did more damage than Magikarp could do with Tackle, which is quite embarrassing. Right, um, I really don't want to hurt Spiral Monkey because I don't think they'll stand a chance, so I'm just going to send out Gyarados straight away. And lowering its attack is going to do fuck all because Starmie is a very special attack offensive Pokemon. Uh, let's go for bite again. And I can't believe Gyarados has splashed still, but oh well. Luckily, we'll be able to teach a Water Pulse if we win this because I think that's the TM Misty gives us. If not, I'm going to bite my eyes out. Wow, Gyarados, you're not getting confused this time. Good boy. And another Super Potion, I'm guessing. Yep, what did I know? Oh well, that's not too bad. Bite also has a chance of making the opponent flinch, I do believe. Which is going to do fuck all there, because Starmie isn't taking a turn there. And actually, Starmie is faster than Gyarados, so I don't see how it could flinch. Right, come on Gyarados. You know you want it. You want the win. You said you are going to rate them bitches, and so you shall. Even though Starmie is genderless. Even though it's quite a feminine Pokemon, in my opinion. Oh, come on Gyarados. Come on. Right, yes, well done. You took your chance, you had it, and you've done it. Well done. Okay, so I went from losing with all my Pokemon to winning with four left. <laughs> okay, don't see how that works, but oh well. Wow, you're too much. Well, I did have a lot in the barrel. Alright, you can have a cast Cascade Badge to show you beat me. The Cascade Badge makes all, uh, makes all Pokemon on store 30 obey, meaning ones you get in trades. That includes even outsiders you got in trades. That means only Pokemon you're going to get in trades. There's more. You can also use cut at any time, even at a battle. You can cut down small trees to open new pathways. You can also, my favourite TM. And uh, yeah, I think it is Water Pulse. TM03 teaches Water Pulse. Use it on aquatic Pokemon. And so I shall. Where is it? TM case. Okay. Uh, what else do we have here? Gyarados can learn Rock Team, I do think. No, it can't. Okay. I guess it's just Water Pulse then. Also, something to know is um, if you give your Pokemon items like potions or things like that, um, you can tell its friendliness towards you by how, cl how close it starts off at um, the screen. With a TM, it'll always start off at the front of the screen, so that doesn't really matter. But um, I'm assuming most of my Pokemon will not like me because I've let them faint quite a bit. So, Oh well though, because the more your Pokemon faint, the more they uh, grow to dislike you. And of course, we all want our Pokemon to levels, don't we? Because we're not mean trainers. Anyway, though, I can't believe we've got five Pokemon already in my team at this point in the game. I, don't, I think it'll be a while before I get my sixth one, maybe, though. So that's alright. Because it is a bit of a bad idea getting all these Pokemon at the beginning of the game. Because most Let's Players get Pokemon throughout the adventure, not all at the beginning, like me, basically. Going for the random cut, though, again. Anyway, though, we've got this policeman that's moved out of the way of this house now. The people here are robbed. It's obvious that Team Rocket is behind his most heinous crime. Even our police force has trouble with the rockets, and I think I've talked to you before. Anyway, let's go in this house. And oh my goodness me. Those do not look like Team Rocket footprints at all, or human footprints at least. Those miserable rockets. Look what they've done to my house. They stole a TM for teaching Pokemon how to dig holes. I was going to use it on a Mankey or Sandshrew. Why well, a Mankey? That cost me a bundle it did. What's the skill say? Team Rocket must be trying to dig their way into no good. That's such a bad pun. And... What the hell? What have you been doing to this draw? Look at that thing! Anyway, out here, we have a Team Rocket Grub. What do you what do you know? Hey, stay out. It's not your yard. Hurt me? I'm an innocent bystander. Don't you believe me? Considering you've got the M... I mean, R, R M. It's not from McDonald's. The R logo on your t-shirt, no. Oh good, we have a matchup. Right, I guess it's going to be perfect for our Kadabra. Right, come on Kadabra, one shot it, we've got an amazing special attack. If I, made it, if I haven't made it obvious already, I do love Kadabra. Right, nice one. And Kadabra is actually, Abra is quite easy to raise. Not like Magikarp, where it grows, it, don't, it like, takes huge amounts of XP to uh, get it up a level. Um, but yeah, Kadabra is pretty good at uh, being able to raise, so... Oh, okay, this isn't going to do much. I mean, it's going to be a bit of a... Okay, now we're definitely not going to be able to do anything, because we didn't have teleport. 
Okay, so let's go for. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, let's go for Spiro. We do need Spiro to grow up a, a bit because uh, at the moment Spiro is probably our weakest Pokemon. And Drowsy has confusion as well, and that's done quite a bit. But we have Thief. I actually forgot about that. And that did fuck all. And he's disabled it. Oh well, we've got Pursue. Ha <laughs> ha ha! Can't disable all my attacks, can you? Or can he? I never actually know. I've never actually known if you can actually disable all our attacks. Maybe you can only do it one at a time, but I can't really remember. And Sparrow is asleep. Okay, we can use a... None of these berries. Okay, we're just going to have to wait for it to wake up then. Hang on, wait, hang on. Do I have an awakening or something? No, I don't. For God's sake. Honestly, Ben, you need to stock about items more. Now, as long as you don't use confusion, I should, be, I should be fine. And he uses confusion. How oh, lovely, jubbly. Oh, wait, that's great when he's asleep. Why are you using... Finish me! Finish him! Oh, you missed your chance there, Drowsy. And please don't see he's going to finish me off. He is going to finish me off, isn't he? Oh, you lucky bugger! Oh, thank God that took him out. Level 18, okay, lovely. God, he's growing up the ranks pretty quickly. And Kadabra's learnt disabled now. Before you think it, no... Drowsy is not as good as Kadabra in any way. I do like Drowsy and Hypno, but they're not they're more defensive than um, offensive. So anyway, offensive, I mean. Anyway, I'll return to the uh, TMI stall. So we get Dig, which is actually a pretty good TM. I better get moving. Bye. Uh, Dig's a pretty good move, I will say. Um, I actually prefer it to Earthquake, which is more of the better choice, really, I will say. But I do prefer Dig to Earthquake, mainly because, especially in the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games, because Dig is a monster in those games. Uh, but I don't know who I'm going to te teach Dig to at the moment because I think only Mankey and um, Charmeleon can learn it. Charmeleon would be good to have it because then it could uh, have an advantage against rock types instead of um, shitty Metal Claw because um, Dig's better than Metal Claw in my opinion. Even though Metal Claw can raise your attack. Um, I think it's his attack anyway, I think. Is it, is, is it attack? Let's just have a look. Yeah, also awesome raise uses attack, but it's only got a power of 50, whereas I think Dig has a power of 60, and it's always 100 accuracy. Uh, but I'm not going to change it right now, I think I'll leave it till later. Um, anyway though, let's carry on down this road. Anyway, up here we have Cut. Now, where do you get Cut from again? Let me just have a look at my map. Uh, wait, hang on. I s you might get it from Vermilion City, actually. Cause, um, hang on, where's my map? Town map. Town map's there, Ben. Bloody hell. Okay, so to go this way to Rock Tunnel, we have to get to Lava. Yeah, Lavender Town. Yep, I'm right. Yep, you cannot go to uh, Lavender Town yet at the moment, anyway. So yeah, Vermilion City is the way to go. Cause I think you can get cut there. If you can't, then strike me down now. Well, I haven't been struck down, so obviously it's the way to go. Um, but anyway, uh, no one gives you cut in this town anyway, so if there was cut around here, I'm pretty sure that they would have given it us by now. Anyway though, let's carry on down this new route. Right. Oh, no, not down there. Be careful. And down here, we actually have a new route. We can catch a few new Pokemon here. I'll put them on screen for you, but I do know one of them is Meowth. Uh, Meowth's a normal type Pokemon. It evolves into Persian, I'm not sure what level, um, but it, it's an okay Pokemon, it's not really a Pokemon I tend to use because I find it kind of average and not really out of the ordinary or any Pokemon that I really want to use because Meowth's not a Pokemon I'm terribly fond of, so. Anyway though, I run the daycare service. Would you like me to raise one of your Pokemon? No thanks. Uh, daycare, they can raise your Pokemon up levels. I don't really like this method because um, they can put moves, shitty moves over good moves that you have unless your Pokemon's already like level 100. Um, and overall, um, it, this daycare is a pretty bad one because you can't raise two Pokemon to get an egg. Uh, but, but I think that's more reminiscent of um, the uh, first gen games. And you have a Nidoran male. I want to trade for my Nidoran female. No, I don't have either of them, but I can catch both of them, so I don't know why I want to have an in game trade for it. But anyway, though, here's the underground path. So let's just go down here because uh, this will take us to Vermilion City because we can't actually go through uh, Saffron City yet. 
which I'll sh just show you in, the, in a moment. Let me just touch this girl. People often lose things in the darkness of the underground path. Do they? I think that's a clue that we can use our item finder there, but we don't actually have an item finder yet, do we? No, we don't. What am I on about? I can't remember getting one. Anyway, though, we talked to this guard here. I'm on guard duty. Gee, I'm thirsty, though. Oh, wait there. The road's closed. Even though he doesn't give a perfectly good reason why. Anyway, though, let's go down here. And uh, there's a few more Pokemon on this route as well, I think. I'll put them on screen. Um, I'll go over them next time, I think. Because I'm sorry I'm rushing through the routes pretty quickly. It's just I haven't really had time to check up before I record, because... I am recording a Super Mario Galaxy video uh, today as well. Uh, there aren't many bugs out here. Well, why are you around here then? You're a bug catcher. Go to Viridian Forest. Okay, a Weedle. That's good because it's poison type Pokemon. Psychic type Pokemon are ten, uh, gen tend to be a very good Pokemon. They were like so they were like invincible in the first gen Pokemon games because there was an error uh, that made it so that ghost types um, weren't super effective against psychic types. Um, and even though all the NPCs in the game said, oh yeah, Ghost is super effective against Psychic, even though it isn't. It is now, but it wasn't about then. And as you can see, Kadabra's just owning everything, seriously. And actually, Kadabra, um, there is a um, controversy about Kadabra, is um, that there is a boy in the world, apparently, or a man in the world, that can actually, apparently, bend spoons with his mind. And he sued Nintendo for Kadabra because apparently um, Kadabra mean uh, uh, Kadabra was Nintendo ripping off this man's power or something. So he sued Nintendo. Um, I can't remember what came with the lawsuit. I think he actually won it. Oh, we got some kind of money out of it. I think I can't really remember. But anyway, uh, we've got a Squirtle here. It's quite rare that you see uh, someone start off with a starter Pokemon. I mean, or use a starter Pokemon because um, I can remember when I first started off Pokemon games and bloody hell. Um, I really w I wanted all the starters, and it was so annoying because any sign of rumor or anything that catch another starter Pokemon, that's it. I'd instantly believe it because I wanted one that much. But anyway, though, Jesus Kadabra, I just can't win. Hell yeah, you can't. And well, I think we'll talk to this girl that ended off the video. Excuse me, this is a private conversation. Well, I've already battled him now, and he's kind of looking away from you, so. Is this camper? No, it's picnicker, Nancy. Array for stereotyping, even though I don't know how that's stereotyping. And how much are you betting that Kadabra's gonna 1k this thing? Oh yeah, if he didn't, I actually got worried there that he wasn't, then I'd look a bit of an idiot, but. And Pikachu, okay, that's a bit of an on Pokemon, again, but still. And actually, in future Pokemon games, a female Pikachu has a love heart tail, I think it is. So. That's pretty dandy. Anyway, there, there we have Picnic and Nancy. Uh, I hate losing. Then why'd you battle me? It's never what you're gonna lose. Anyway, though, in this part, we got Arcadabra and Gyarados, and we also beat Misty um, after losing once, where I really shouldn't have. Anyway, though, in the next part, we're gonna be heading off to Vermilion City, and we're gonna see what we can do there. So I shall see you then.